Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Howard Vestal, a docent at the Meadows Museum. Today we're looking at The Blind Man of Toledo, an oil painting by Valencian native Joaquin Solaroya y Bastida. It was painted in 1906. We're struck first by the brightness of the light on the Alcantara Bridge that spans the Tagus River at the medieval fortress city of Toledo, a scene made famous by El Greco and one of three Sorolla works devoted to this second century Roman landmark. Sorolla's treatment of bright sunlight and deeply contrasting shadow is the hallmark of Spain's most influential Impressionist artist. Though regarded as apolitical by writers and intellectuals of the generation of 98, a cultural movement that struggled to drag a lethargic Spain into the 20th century after its defeat in the Spanish-American War. Sorolla's work near this time demonstrates a social conscience that reflects fundamental tensions in Spanish culture. With his Paris Exposition's grand prize-winning Sad Inheritance, a depiction of children stricken with polio, his portrayal of women in victims of the white slave trade, the sorrow of a woman being taken to jail in The Other Marguerite, or his dark image of the drunkard, Blind Man fits into a genre whose message reflects the 98 movement's advocacy of Spanish regeneration and repudiation of its stifling golden age dream of empire. The dark figure of a thin man in cloak and hat walks uphill toward us along a steeply sloped path, a figure in stark contrast with the sunlight's blazing illumination of the stone bridge and the sky's bright reflection in the river below. The adjacent wall's dark, tapering shadow and the bridge's span point like arrows at this mysterious person whose eyes are in shadow. We note the figure's own narrow shadow points to his cane, our tip-off that he is blind. As our eye circles the canvas, we see verdant hills in the background, framed by gray clouds in the distance. Up close, forms like the donkey behind the figure dissolve into random strokes of color. An improbable range of hues appear hurriedly applied to define the shaded wall, the cobblestone path, and every other part of the canvas. True to Impressionism's essence, Soroya notably said, I could not paint at all if I had to paint slowly. Every effect is so transient, it must be rapidly painted. So what about Soroya's social conscience? Given Spaniards' frustration with the nation's loss of prestige and its last remaining colonies in the war, their dissatisfaction with the church little changed since the Middle Ages, a corrupt monarchy, and the insular, pervasive España Negra mores that differentiated Spain from a culturally enlightened Europe. Does blind man's imagery reflect the nation searching for its soul? Is the archly medieval setting a metaphor for a backward-looking society in a country beset by stone-poor poverty and social insecurity, yet stubbornly clinging to past glory? Should we view Soroya's emaciated figure as symbolic of a vision-impaired Spain struggling to find its way as it labors in its uphill climb to join prosperous, democratic Europe? Perhaps the apolitical Soroya's answer is plain to see. Can Spain's potential to surmount its fate lie symbolically in bright sunlight's purifying power and in the vibrant multispectral colors buried even in the work's darkest shadows? Though we sense his optimism, does Soroya not yet pose one last question to us? Has Spain weathered the storm that may be receding on the horizon? Or are those dark clouds an ironic harbinger of greater turmoil yet to come. We hope you've enjoyed looking with us at this marvelous painting. Thank you for listening. Plan to join us soon for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.